Hi, this is Jacob Anderson, and today's video <clears throat> is about solving some of the speed control problems. I get a lot of calls and emails from people who have speeds that just aren't changing, and so this is uh, about the most common reason for that, and that is shivs, the pulleys that are stuck in position from sitting in a shop for years. The oil in the shiv and the rubber dust from the belts and the sawdust all combine together and dry up and turn into a varnish, I call it, that locks the shiv into one position and then when you turn the dial nothing's changing. So uh, this is the most common solution. So I'm making this video so I don't have to keep telling people on the phone or telling them an email what's going on. So your, your headstock will be together I have it separated already, but what you do is put the headstock into your drill press mode, and that way both of the shafts are going up and down. And then, of course, you want to take the belt cover off. Then you need a good penetrating oil, not just oil, and not WD-40, but a penetrating oil. It'll say penetrating oil right on the can. And then you need to squirt it between the shiv halves. So I'm going to squirt in there, rotate, and I'm also going to continue rotating until this little hole is visible and squirt some in there as well. So this belt will still be in position if, unless you've taken the motor off. So from below is the best position to, to uh, be able to get to the shaft and that penetrating oil will soak down with gravity. You might have to let it soak all night. On the motor half, it's a little different. You have this spring in the way. This is what the outer portion of the motor shiv looks like. There's a space right above it where the shaft protrudes. And so you squirt on the upper part of the shaft like that and it'll work its way down through here. And then you can also put some in the tiny little oil hole and let it get down into that lower part of the shaft. And again, let it sit. If you can get into this area here, you can squirt in there too, just like I did above. So I'd say let it sit for a few hours anyway, maybe uh, overnight let the penetrating oil get in there, dissolve that varnish. And if, uh, if you're able to, you can try changing your speeds. Try seeing if it moves. When you change your speeds, you should see this shiv change position with the speed control. So you can do that while you're rotating the shaft by hand if you want. So anyway, once the penetrating oil has loosened up, then it'll move correctly again here and here. But there's instances where even that doesn't work. So here's how to take care of it in a more mechanical fashion. I use a couple of small pieces of wood, just quarter inch, half inch thick, one small piece. You can rest on the bench and go between the shiv halves. Another piece of wood above and then a mallet tapping. And that helps separate the shiv a little bit more. See, this is actually a fairly sticky shiv. It should snap right back shut and it's not. So that's one way to mechanically help force, force these sh the shivs apart simple trick, but first let the penetrating oil do its trick. And now if uh, even that doesn't work, then there's probably a mechanical reason. Each shaft has a key on it. It sits like here. And the idler shaft has one too. So there could be burrs on the, sh on the uh, key. So you may have to replace the key. You may have to use a small file and you know, file down the burrs because they could be impeding this from sliding. 
So there could be something happening like that too. So there can be other mechanical reasons too, but this is usually what takes care of stuck shivs. If that doesn't, then you know you have to start taking things apart and going a little bit farther. Now here's my website address. I do repairs. You can ship your headstock to me. You can ship components to me. Through my website you'll see parts that I sell, services, uh, some instructional materials like my DVDs and my troubleshooting guide. So go to my website and take a good look at that. There's tons of information there. There's also links to my other 10 YouTube videos that I currently have helping solve various small problems. Alright, I hope that helped you. Thank you.